Hello and welcome to Back to Waybit. Today I'm going to have a complete walkthrough of the uh, adventure game Planet of Death on the ZX Spectrum. This was a game uh, released back in 1982 uh, by Arctic Computing, um, also known as Adventure A in the series. Uh, this, was this was probably one of the first um, adventure games ever released on the uh, ZX Spectrum. Um, it was originally released on the uh, ZX81, actually. Um, I should have an image of that somewhere. Yeah, released in 1981 for the ZX81. Uh, and then a year later, in 1982, they released it for the 16K Spectrum. Um, I have to admire the artwork uh, on this uh, uh, cover. Uh, very impressive. And in fact, um, it did get used 10 years later for an Amiga game called Agony. Looking through this particular game, if you look at the instructions, it is very vague, very limited. And that's one of the disappointing things about uh, this adventure game. Um, it doesn't list any of the commands that you need uh, to get through this game, um, which does slow the gameplay down. And there's probably a reason for that, because this adventure game is an extremely short adventure game um, again it's one of the first ones made it's still a very much a, a learning curve of what people wanted to see in these text-based adventure games um, it was originally as I said before originally on the zx81 and the 16k spectrum uh, so they it was very limited to the amount of uh, available memory for the for programming this game but reading into what it says here um, it does advertise it as being a very long game <laughs> Uh, but in fact, you can actually, if you know what you're doing with this game, you can actually speed run it. And it could probably take about five or six minutes to actually complete. Uh, but what seems to take uh, the time is people trying to work out what commands are needed. And uh, the, the, the times, the number of times you could take a wrong turning or do something in a wrong order that would eventually get you killed and having to start again or going back to a save point. Um, there, there isn't a command in this game just to save the game. Um, that doesn't exist. You can't just type save and restore when playing the game. What happens is when you quit the game, you do get asked if you want to save your progress. And then when you come to load the game again, at the start of the game, it does ask you um, if you want to restore a previous game. So they don't make it very easy for you to load and restore uh, your game at regular intervals the whole idea of this game is to you, you you're stuck on a planet and you've got a, a spaceship that has been has been uh, hidden away and it's not working and your job is to try and get it find your spaceship get it working and leave leave the planet um there are a couple, as I said before, the commands that you write in aren't always straightforward as well. And that's another thing that really annoying and probably, you know, was quite infuriating for people back then. Um, it, it's Some of it isn't straightforward, even though some of the clues are in the text. You, you don't know exactly what you're going for. I won't give too much away, but I do. I will cover it a, a bit when we're playing through the game. You'll see what I mean. Uh, when you're trying to get through the force fields and, and and sort of commands that you need to do that and you can imagine people taking a long time to try and work out how to do that and uh, back in the early 80s we didn't have things like the internet to fall back on to try and get help or assistance uh, to get solutions or, or have forums to help us to solve the problems most of the help we got were from um, magazines that used to help and print and publish tips on playing some of these adventure games and the old fashioned way of maybe communicating with your friends and at school you know other people that play the game and discussing it with them and how they got through it and and you know that some of that i suppose doesn't really happen these days uh, where people actually talk to each other <laughs> anyway um what what we do is i will play this game um on 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 my mister um and I will take my time playing through this game. I won't speed run it. 
I will allow you time to take notes and read the text on the screen as well. I want to try and make this uh, walkthrough a little different to the others that are on YouTube and give you the chance to, you know, especially if you haven't got access to a Spectrum, you just want to uh, watch the game go through. Maybe you played this game as a child and never quite managed to complete it back in the 80s and this is your chance to have a look and see how it works uh, you can enjoy the game and just read some of the scripts uh, on the screen this is a pure text adventure game there is absolutely no graphics involved with this there is no sounds involved with it you really need to play on your own imaginations really what by reading the scripts and what you need to come to it's very much similar to i suppose reading a book but we'll get things running um and if you've got any questions on it or we've got leave you know feel free to leave a comment on the youtube channel uh, if there's any particular adventure games that you want me to want to see me try and complete again just leave that a, as a comment on the uh, channel as well right let's get planet of death loaded up Okay. As I said before as well, I will take my time going through this. I, I have seen many uh, walkthroughs of these games that go through in rapid speed. And I know this uh, game can be completed in uh, about five or six minutes uh, uh, flat. But what I want to do is uh, uh, take my time going through it. Just give you a chance to read all the notes and instructions uh, with the uh, story that goes through this adventure. Um, and also gives you a chance to uh, take any notes if that's what you want to do. And this is the point where you get asked if uh, you want to restore a previous game. Okay. You need to get Flint. And it won't understand take Flint. It has to be get Flint. We then go down. Now we're in the forest. We want to cut rope. And now we get asked what with. We shall now say with a flint. And now we get rope. And we go south. Then we go east. And we get bored. You don't need the boots. Go north. And we need to use the board. To cross the uh, ravine. We're at the uh, old shed. So now we get the gun. And we use board again to return. We now go north. And we go west. And we go west again to the edge of the deep pit. Now we need to use rope to climb down.
and now we need to get that mirror but the man is on top of it so we now need to get man and we drop man and then we get mirror and then we kill man and then we, with what we say with gun it's kill or be killed we now need to move east we should be now at the wind tunnel and we need to open the door We're now in the computer room. We need to get the key. And then we move west twice. And again. The thing is, you've got some slimy gloves there, and uh, the purpose of those gloves really were to uh, wear them to help you pick up the man, the slimy man, but. Uh, if you don't use the gloves, there was no consequence of not using them, so you don't really need them. And there are a couple of red herring items um, in this uh, game. So we've got now gone west that second time. We need to go south. And we're in the passage. Okay, now this is the part of the game which probably had many people stumped for a while. Um, there is obviously no assistance with what commands to use in the inlay cover. Um, there's no such thing as the internet back then to try and get help. <laughs> a lot of it is all trial and error and uh, maybe speaking to your friends or getting help from uh, magazine articles uh, for the game. Uh, but there are a couple of clues in the uh, text, as you see. And if you notice, you can see a loudspeaker with dance music coming out. And, and that's a bit of a clue. And you probably understand when I get to that point. But what we need to first of all do is smash the field. And it's weakened. And we have to do that twice. And it said the same thing, but you do need to just do it twice. That's all you need to do. Uh, but I wonder how long it took people to realize you had to do that twice back in the day. Now, this is where you need the mirror. You need the mirror to go through these uh, force fields, which you collected from under the man. And to get to the large hangar, <laughs> we have to dance. And that must have infuriated a lot of people back then as to how to get to the next part. You now need to kill security. Whoops. Okay, and he didn't ask if I wanted to use the gun, but uh, that's fine. You now need to unlock the door. So just unlock door. And with a key, which you picked up earlier. Okay, we now have to push a sequence of buttons. And as you see on the uh, screen, uh, there's a sign that says five, four, 
no dusty bin rules and that's the clue and if you remember back to the early 80s um the tv show called 321 with the dusty bin and that's the sequence of buttons that you need to press 3 2 1 so we push 3 we then push 2 and we then push 1 okay We now go east. Now you see the, the uh, spaceship. We go east again. And we get the motor. We then go back to west again. and west one more time and we enter the ship we're now in the ship you now need to push orcs And now we have a choice of buttons to press, either one, two, three, and four. And again, this is right at the end of the game. Very infuriating if you get the <laughs> wrong button pressed because it is, I don't, I've done a bit of research on this and I, I don't think there's any clues as to which button you press here, whether it's one, two, three, or four. And pressing the wrong button I think damages or blows up the ship uh, which uh, immediately terminates the game uh, <laughs> so you'll have to then start all over again or load that restore point so the answer to this is four you press button four but you have to push for push for And there you are. Congratulations, you've managed to complete this adventure without getting killed. Do you want to save the game? No. Do you want to try again? No. Okay, there it is. And what I will try and find for you actually is the map of the entire game so you can have a look. And so you, you see if you can see it in a bit more detail. There it is. It's not a huge map, not a massive map at all. Uh, but considering this is one of the first adventure games on the Spectrum, uh, originally for the ZX81, and then onto the 16K Spectrum, um, you know, it's, it, 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 was, it was very popular back in the day. A nice little puzzle up. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll catch you very soon.